when you just gotta have some real big storage in a smaller footprint. Hey there! This episode of Some Gadget Guy is brought to you by viewers like you. Yes, you! All of the amazing people sharing content across social media, and the generosity of my patrons over on patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. More info on those awesome nerds later in the video. The folks at Acasis are back in the Gadget Lab. They sent this my way to test drive and share some thoughts. This is the Acasis 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt 4 four bay raid enclosure. And she's real pretty. I've been having so much fun with these little storage housings and docks and hubs. And I used the Acasis two bay solution recently on a trip with great success. Boxes that don't take up a lot of space, but give us a ton of storage and then we can move files very quickly. This box, is a little bit bigger than the two bay and isn't built with the same idea of portability in mind, but it's still a delightful solution compared to the bigger portable hard drives we used to lug around. I love doing this live. It's the same toolless manufacturing on display. This is a solid aluminum frame and it just pops right open. Then we're greeted with four slots for NVMe SSDs and Acasis includes thermal pads for your drives, should you need them. The fan is built right into the door, and I love this little detail, just like the two bay, where we don't have like a clumsy ribbon cable to power this. Two pins on the frame make contact with the door when you close the enclosure to power the fan. It's so clean. It's not large. It is a little bit bigger than some of my mini PCs, but it should take up very little space on a desk or other workspace, and it shouldn't be too hard to travel with if you need that kind of support. This case is a little simpler than the two bay I recently reviewed. This is less of a hub. We have a USB-C to connect to your host and a spare USB-C to daisy chain, and then a barrel connector for power. It comes with a larger power supply and you can't properly juice four SSDs over a USB cable plug directly into your laptop. So we pop in some drives and we go to town. It's really straightforward. Even inserting the drives, that happens with plugs, not screws. When they say toolless, they really mean it. You can start with as many drives as you want. You can start just a single drive to get going and you can add more later, or you can buy it and just max it out directly. The case will handle up to four eight terabyte drives. You just, just have a cool little box with 32 terabytes of storage inside. And you can arrange that in any configuration you want. Standalone drives that'll show up with their own drive letters, a single lump of storage. You can stripe the drives or mirror the drives. It all comes down to what speed and redundancy you need. The hilarity of reviewing this for me, you might've noticed when I pulled the cover, I don't have four matched drives. I had some 512 gig SSDs from my mini PC builds. So I mixed and matched some of those. Can't say that's delivering the absolute fastest speeds I could get from this enclosure, but it's still solid overall performance. Acasis rates this for up to 2,700 megabytes per second read and up to 2,400 megabyte per second write speeds. Testing that has been a little tricky on my side lately. I Using things like Crystal Disk, I consistently got faster read speeds than what Acasis advertised, but then I'd get like half the write speed per drive. I'm certainly not using the drives they show in their promo videos, so I know my hardware is not maxing out this enclosure. For my mini PC builds, I'm more of a Western Digital Blue kind of guy than I am a Samsung 990 Pro kind of guy. So after running some tests individually, I then spent the better part of an afternoon striping some drives, and then I saw those benchmark numbers perk up a bit. Still consistently outperforming the rated read speeds and finally getting closer to those write speeds. And I set up three drives as just one big striped lump of storage. But beyond synthetic benchmarks, just moving files around, it is a fast solution, and I see no issues for content creators working on 4K and 8K video projects, of course, depending on file type, file size, and your bitrate. Lately, I've been a bit of a slob where I'm mostly shooting H.264 MP4s from my mirrorless camera, so I'm definitely not maxing out the multiple video streams, something like this could tackle even connected to my laptop. Now, when you're working and you're a little space conscious, the fan 
can put out a little noise when the drives are being used. It's a bit louder at full speed than my Asus Nook fans. So you might not want this immediately in front of you while you're working, but it really wouldn't be difficult to just move it a bit farther away from you or maybe even under a desk, and that would significantly reduce the audio from these fans at full bore. But I gotta tell you, I really like the solutions we're getting that are taking better advantage of NVMe SSD form factors. This kind of option, this kind of solution used to be a lot more enthusiast experimental, a bit more Kickstarter-y, if you will. But a lot of products now are pushing this kind of tech more mainstream. Like it's wild to see laptop hubs and portable game console docks that just make room for a couple of TB of storage. You want two TB? NBD! I'm so sorry, <laughs> I'm way off script, that was so lame. It's an interesting transition here. This box supports Thunderbolt 4, and we're starting to see some solutions moving up to Thunderbolt 5. Acasis sells a single drive enclosure with Thunderbolt 5, but that's kind of part of the tech adopter quandary, isn't it? Likely the majority of work systems out there are on Thunderbolt 3 or 4, and if you want to add a huge lump of storage to a current system, I think it makes sense to pair the tech available. Now, there are some folks who might want to wait and buy one part ahead of the computer that might support it, but again, those Thunderbolt 5 options are going to be pricey when they start trickling out. This makes a lot of sense to me with the current bleeding edge tech a lot of people are using. It's wild to me how much easier it's gotten over the last couple years to not only add a big bucket of storage, but now supply significantly smaller and faster drives to fill that bucket. This is one of those boxes that will add that pro tier of fast storage, and it's gonna look real good in your setup while doing it. So I will, of course, drop some links down below this video in the description where you can shop Acasis products, specifically this four bay Thunderbolt 4 raid box here. I love digging into this stuff, and the folks who get to see the results of my testing and reviewing first are, of course, my amazing patrons, all of the folks over on patreon.com slash some gadget guy. This list of names scrolling by on your screen right now, a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. These are the folks that are directly helping to keep the lights on here in the Gadget Lab in my reviews and editorials and videos and community stuff. None of it would be possible without their support. They're basically the coolest tech pals in the universe and they've helped build a community that I love hanging out in. They're basically the coolest tech pals in the universe. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet? At some gadget guy, basically everywhere. But these days I'm trying to spend a bit more time on the Mastodons, a little on the Blue Skis and a lot less so on the Facebooks and Instagrams and threads and definitely not on that dumpster fire site. And I will catch you all on the next review.